Hi kids of the world, Uncle Buzz here from Stories by Uncle Buzz, introducing my book, The Adventures of Faithful Horse Helen. There are six stories introducing the horse hero. I hope you enjoy them as much as I've enjoyed writing them. Thank you. The Adventures of Faithful Horse Helen, Stories by Uncle Buzz, Story 4, The Rescue of the Grizzly Bear. The forest of Joy Mountain is home to many a family of grizzly bears. With large brown eyes and soft brown fur, these animals are as beautiful as they are powerful. These bears are a protected species, and Ranger Jim knows he has to be on full alert as bear season has begun. Many crafty hunters try and come to Joy Mountain to poach the bears. Some sell the bear skins for coats and some for rugs while others keep them alive to put in cages for show. Whatever the case, these bears fetch a premium price on the black market. Ranger Jim is the only protector in the region, and no matter how hard he tries, one man is just not enough to prevent the poaching. He has asked many times for help during bear season, but much to his disappointment, the local government always says no. On the first day of bear season, two sinister looking men came to town and plotted how to catch a bear. They wanted to draw as little attention to themselves as possible. If caught poaching, they would spend 10 years in jail. They knew they couldn't use their rifles as gunfire would echo throughout Joy Mountain. So they planned to use big iron traps. Once the bear is caught and begins to tire, they can shoot it with a sleeping dart and take it away to their hideout. The two men knew they would have to set the traps in an area that bears would love to be drawn to. Bears love to catch and eat fish, so the men decided that a spot near water was a great place to lay a trap. After searching the area far and wide, the men happened upon a large lake and got to work setting the traps. Using their axes to cut down surrounding conifer trees, they covered the traps with the branches. This meant the traps could not be seen by the unsuspecting bears. By the time they had finished, it was late at night. The two men went and sat in their car to wait. Exhausted from all their chopping and plotting, they could barely keep their eyes open and soon fell asleep. The sun had not fully risen. It was early in the morning and unsuspecting bear was out looking for his breakfast. Suddenly his right leg was caught in a trap. Confused and frustrated, he struggled to free himself. But no matter how hard he tried, he couldn't walk forward. The bear groaned in pain. His leg was swelling and bleeding. A sickly, weak feeling began to overtake him. Not far away in the forest, a quip of faithful horse Helen rose and fluttered in the wind. Helen knew this was a sign that someone was in trouble. Although this time she had a bad feeling in the pit of her stomach. Something evil was in the air. She didn't know exactly what it was, but she knew where to go. Helen sensed that a fellow animal was in danger. She galloped into the clearing in front of the lake and saw the grizzly bear. One foot was trapped and it was screaming in pain. Faithful horse Helen stopped and looked around suspiciously. The bear let out another desperate bellow. Helen quickly looked around to see what she could find. She needed a dry, thick branch to help her prize open the trap to free the bear's leg. Bingo! She found a dry branch about two meters long and 20 centimeters in diameter. She dragged a piece of timber in her mouth with pure strength and determination. Somehow, Helen jammed it into the trap. Rising to a great height with her front legs up in the air, Helen leapt and launched on the branch with a full weight. 
She pried open the trap and released the bear's leg. The bear rose to his full height as a sign of respect to Helen, and they both stared at one another in silence. It is not often that a great grizzly bear is humbled by the power of another animal. This bear, however, is well aware this is no ordinary horse. This horse had saved his life. After the animals shared their special moment, the bear let out a great growl of relief, turned his head and limped back to the forest. The sound of the growl awoke the two pouch poachers from their slumber. The men came running out to investigate, hoping they had in fact trapped the bear. To their disgust, they arrived in time to see the bear disappearing into the forest, dragging his wounded leg behind him. Turning, they saw their broken trap with a log jammed inside. Scratching their heads, they were confused at how this could have happened. The men went to inspect their trap when suddenly they sensed they were not alone. Nervously, they turned around and expected to see the ranger. But what they saw was far more terrifying. Before them stood the majestic, faithful horse Helen, her imposing stature displaying her authority. Helen vanished, and the men were left to draw only one conclusion. The forest horse was responsible for foiling their plans. The two sinister men swore revenge on faithful horse Helen. <laughs>